This is an extremely profitable model that you could use within your trading. Let's begin. So if you imagine in a bullish scenario, thinking about your advanced market structure, right? You know that here, this is your basic market structure. Higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, and higher highs. But you know the reality is, price is not always going to move in higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. Most of the time, it's going to move in advanced market structure where price creates a higher high, higher low, higher high, and then a lower low. And this is where you get your turtle soup. It is when price sweeps some form of liquidity before continuing in their intended direction. Why does it do this? Because you have to imagine, right? Above old highs are buy side liquidity. That is buy stops and sell limits. And you would have guessed below old lows is your sell side liquidity, which consists of your sell stops and buy limits. So in conclusion, above old highs rest buy side liquidity, below old lows rest sell side liquidity. And you know that the two functions in price is to one, rebalance old inefficiency and two, seek liquidity. So if we focus on the seeking liquidity, why does price seek liquidity? Price seeks liquidity because that is what moves the market. There always has to be two parties within a transaction. If someone wants to buy, there has to be a willing seller. If someone wants to sell, there has to be a willing buyer to buy from them. And at a certain price level, there is only a number of sellers and buyers within the markets. Hence why the markets will always move from one price level to another to seek for new liquidity to pair up their existing transactions with. And you know that the bulk of liquidity lies above old highs and below old lows. Think of it from this standpoint. We are currently in a bullish scenario. Why would price come down here and take out this old low? Because here in this price leg, people are constantly wanting to take longs higher, right? However, they could only long if there is willing sellers to pair up their long positions with. And eventually, at these price levels, from this low to this high, they will run out of sellers to pair up their long positions with. Hence why price will look to seek sell side liquidity here in the form of an old low where there is a bulk in sell limits to pair up the remaining longs that ran out of sellers to pair up their transactions with to facilitate their long transactions and then take price higher, right? Because there's a bulk in sell limit here. So price has to take out that sell limit and that is essentially all your turtle soup is. It is when price takes out an external range liquidity to accumulate more positions and facilitate market transactions before continuing in your intended direction. Now, in this video, we will be focusing on the high probability turtle soup entries. And your high probability turtle soup entries happens within higher time frame PD arrays. So, if you imagine this is your higher time frame, if we think about basic market structure now for your higher time frame, and here you have an imbalance, right? Remember the two functions of price seek liquidity, rebalance old efficiency, aka external range liquidity, internal range liquidity. So when price takes out this external range liquidity, which is your seeking of liquidity, price will look to rebalance old inefficiency, which is your internal range liquidity. So here you have this imbalance. When price comes down to this imbalance, you would drop down onto the lower time frame to look for that confirmation again to go bullish, to realign with your basic bullish market structure on the higher time frame. And this is where your turtle soup comes into play as well. If you imagine this red line is your lower time frame, it will look something like this. Price has an initial tap into this higher time frame PD array and a minor bullish reaction off of that tap. Then it comes back to retrace deeper before it expands higher. This is where you have your turtle soup. We can see, look here, your initial tap into this higher time frame PD array and then that retracement generated sell side liquidity resting below that old low. This is where early buyers are being punished because they think this bullish reaction is price realigning with the higher time frame bullish direction. But no, all price simply done here with this bullish retracement was to generate sell side liquidity for price to later on pair up and accumulate their true long positions at with the resting sell side liquidity here before expanding higher. And this section in price, when price sweeps that sell side liquidity, that is your turtle soup entry. And that is where your high probability turtle soup comes into play. Remember, it has to always form off of a higher time frame PD array and seek some form of an external range liquidity. So here you have your first example. On the higher time frame, being my daily time frame, it is very clear that we are in a bullish sentiment. You can see here, discount arrays are being respected, premium arrays are being disrespected. And if you zoom closer to the certain price action, you can see that even on the higher time frame, you get your turtle soup. Price sweeps that sell side liquidity, essentially accumulating long positions here before distributing it higher. 
But that is not the focus on this video. Like I said, the main focus on this video is looking at your turtle soup entries on the lower time frame. So here, when price took out that sell side liquidity and had a body closure back within the range with displacement, that shows you that this bullish trend is likely going to continue. So you would look for price to tap into a discount rate here to then anticipate it to move higher and continue your bullish higher time frame direction. Again, if you want to look at it from an internal and external range point, here you have this external range high, price to cut that external range high. So it will look to rebalance old inefficiencies or internal range liquidity. And that is where your imbalance comes into play. Once it rebalances this internal range liquidity, you will look for this to be your next draw on liquidity because that is your external range high. So this is where you will drill down onto lower time frame after price has tapped into this higher time frame discount rate. Playing price out, you can see here it has that bullish retracement. And then price displaces heavily to take out this sell side liquidity. Look at how this candle closes. So in general, the body of the candle contains the bulk of volume and hence why it is the most important part within your technical analysis. How the body closes has a significant factor in determining how price is likely going to act. So ideally with turtle soup, because you are looking for a sweep in sell side liquidity or buy side liquidity, to accumulate positions before taking it in the intended direction, you want to see body closures back within the range after it wicks past the sell side liquidity, implying that it has absorbed the sell side liquidity here and buyers were able to take price higher and close back within the range. A body closure back within the range shows that the buyers are still in control and this was simply just your sweep to accumulate more long positions before distributing it higher. Hence why it is your turtle soup strategy. As you can see here, the next couple of candles respects that overall range and it closes back within the range, not disrespecting this sell side liquidity any further. And as you would expect, price has a strong displacement higher, taking out this market structure break in the form of a swing high. So that is your bullish confirmation after you had this turtle soup. Here, this is where you can have your entry. Stop loss just below that low and you will target your overall draw on liquidity. And as you can see, it taps you into that overdrawn liquidity for a nice two hour trade. Remember, daily, which is my higher time frame, you are bullish. You looked for price to come into an internal range of liquidity after it took out an external range of liquidity. This is where you would drop down into a lower time frame and look for that bullish confirmation. Specifically for this video, your total soup, where price sweeps out sell side liquidity to show you that price is building on their long positions before distributing it higher. After you have that distribution higher, this is where you can look for your entries to go long to realign yourself with your bullish higher time frame direction and take out your external range high as you are bullish. Simple as that. That is the basic of turtle soup. So here's your second example. This time, my time frames are slightly different. We will use the hourly as my higher time frame and the five minute as my lower time frame. So same thing again with your top down analysis, you could see that at this price leg, it is very clearly bearish. Price is respecting premium raise, disrespecting, discount raise, and so on. Here you have a redelivered rebalance and it continues lower. So what does price leave behind? It leaves behind this imbalance that price could come back into. And also this imbalance over here. So let's play price out and see what it does. As you can see, it comes back into that imbalance. Like always, you would drill down onto a lower time frame and look for that bearish confirmation to imply that this imbalance is validated. Dropping down to five minute. And that is exactly what you get. Again, you have this small buy side liquidity. Price takes out that buy side liquidity and it drops lower. Look at the key characteristics again. It taps into your higher time frame point of interest, which is your higher time frame premium array. It has the first initial tap in. Look at this bearish candle that prints. This minor bearish retracement shows you that early sellers have come into play. So if I replay here. When price has an initial tap into this higher time frame premium array, early sellers have already entered into the markets. As you would have guessed, the majority of your retail early sellers would have their stop losses above this high. And as you could have imagined, that is simply just a contribution to the accumulation of buy side liquidity. So when this buy side liquidity gets created after this minor bearish retracement, price comes back again 
and it takes out that buy side liquidity. What is it doing? It is accumulating short positions before taking the move lower. That is your true distribution lower after price has accumulated short positions. Again, that is your turtle sweep delivery. Price sweeps this buy side liquidity, it has a body closure back within the range. That is your high probability turtle sweep delivery because it's showing you that towards the end of this candle's lifespan, sellers are coming back into control after it has took out this buy side liquidity to so sweep liquidity and that is what you get here. So with your turtle soup entry, a lot of times market structure shift or market structure break isn't necessarily needed. All you need to see is the change in state of delivery with displacement because the signs of price going bearish here is already very clear. On a high time frame, we are in a bearish scenario. So you would want to see premium rates get respected, right? And that is what you get here. A premium rate gets respected. So if you drop down onto the lower time frame, think of it like this. All you're doing on a lower time frame is refining your entry to get a better risk to reward ratio or entry. But on the hourly, which is your high time frame, you could enter off of here. There's nothing wrong with that because you are anticipating for premium raise to be respected and discount raise to be disrespected anyway on the higher time frame. So when you join on onto five minute, this is where you're simply just refining your entries for your executions. And the signs of price realigning bearish on the lower time frame with your higher time frame bearish direction, it is already clear after you have this turtle suit. Because this body closed back within the range, it is showing you price is failing to continue higher off of this high. It is showing resistance at this certain price level. Backed up with the fact that it happens within your higher time frame premium array. So that is already enough confirmation for you that price is going to go bearish. So all you need is to see a discount array on the lower time frame to get disrespected with heavy displacement. And that would be enough for your change in state of delivery to look for entries to catch price when you have a turtle soup, price is already set to continue lower. All it is doing within a turtle soup is sweeping buy side liquidity in this instance to accumulate more short positions before distributing it lower. After price disrespects this premium array, you can look for your entries. This is where you could use this premium array as an inversion level. Entry off here, stop loss just above that high. And then target this sell side liquidity. Because again, once price has tapped into internal range liquidity, it will look to seek external range liquidity. And there you have it. Simple. So that concludes this video regarding turtle soup entries and delivery. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below in the comments. And like always, I'll see you guys in the next one.